I liked Wingspan the yeah. way it was. So I like expansions that just... Add um, more. Yeah, add to it, but don't change the game fundamentally. Well, it's here. <laughs> the Wingspansion. So last year, when we got Wingspan, I had an issue about winning. Uh, so, he so he I had, didn't. Yeah, I, did, I didn't win very often. So I, I dissected the game to figure out a way that I could at least be competitive against my wife here. And it worked. It worked. It worked very well. In fact, mm. I think for the year, I think I'm ahead. I think Are I'm, you? I don't know. I'll, I'll check the stats. Mm. Here, but I think I'm ahead. Yeah, and then this expansion comes out. And it's got 81 bird cards. That doesn't sound like a lot. Yeah, but when it comes down to my cross habitat oh, birds, yeah, yeah. oh, that, it dilutes it. Yeah, it dilutes it unless it, unless this has its own cross habitat birds. Probably. It does. <laughs> I, I already looked. Cheater. <laughs> yeah, but the question is, can I still win? Can I still win? with all these extra cards and extra mechanics, right? Mm. Oh yeah, so there's uh there's end of end, round round end bird powers. So that's new. There is a ton of cards now. I know a lot of people are just trying out the new cards, but I don't think they're balanced that way. I no, wouldn't so, think so. Yeah, so I mean, it's just, an expansion, it's not a standalone. So. Yeah, rather than just force ourselves to play with the expansion cards, we just shuffled it into the the regular deck so that it's got normal distribution. So here we go. I'm I'm just gonna use my my normal cross habitat free turn strategy. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a video here. So we'll find out. Do I still win at wingspan? I don't know. All right. Here we go. Okay, well, that's it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Um, birds. Birds. Yeah. 52? 52. I had 67. Oh, man. <laughs> You thought you were doing well. I thought I was doing well. <laughs> Do you want to double check my math? <laughs> uh, 45, 52. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bonus cards. Uh, I've got a uh, falconer, which is birds with the predatory power, and I've got one, two, so that's four points. And then I've got birds with platform nests, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No way. And I needed six plus, so I got all seven points there. So that was 11, 11 points. All right, bird feeder. Birds that eat seeds. I've got one, two, three, four. You needed five. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just not look at that card? <laughs> all right, well, biffed on that. Birds with, that's not, cavity nests. One, two, three, four. So I get four points for that. And then birds with cup nests. One, two, three, four, five. I get four for that. So you have eight. eight. Yep. Yeah. You're not catching up. I uh, am not. <laughs> end, of round goal, uh, end of round goals. Uh, so I have 18. Wow, I have 18. Okay, I'll take it. I've got four, six, thirteen. Thirteen. Eggs, I have four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Food on cards, I have zero. Two, four, five. That was your moment. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that was not No. All right, tuck cards. <laughs> Five. Five. Thirteen. Okay. <laughs> it's not looking very good for me. Uh, it's not bad. 
I have 113, you have 93. Oh, okay. That's bad. it's better than I expected. <laughs> it was not looking very good there. I mean, you had the, you had a killer game. I mean, that 93 would crush most, most people. people. Yes. Yeah, too bad you're not most people. Yeah. <laughs> and I got how many expansion cards did I have? I have one, two, three, four. I have four that showed up in this one. So, I mean, they're showing up with a good frequency. Yeah, so. I've got three. Yeah, the, the resetting the bird feeder, I mean, it's neat. It was neat. I got it because it was neat. I wanted mm -hmm. to see how, how, how well that would out. work out. But, uh, I mean, I got maybe one or two worms out of that. I mean, so. again, I think these things sound cool. Like mine was, if you used all four types of actions this round, play another bird, pay its normal food and egg cost. Which sounds super awesome, but you have to really be set up for that. So I think I was able to use it like once. Like I was hoping yeah, to use it the last round, but I didn't. I didn't lay eggs because I needed food, and so I couldn't do it. Mm. This was another one that I thought sounded really cool. This bird counts double toward the end of round goal if it qualifies for the goal. But that's the trick, is it has to qualify for it the goal. It has to qualify and for I the goal. And I got yeah. it at the end, and I was like, oh, well. And he doesn't tuck cards, so Well, that was I mean, but he goal. was seven points, so. Well, it's seven points, seven points, yeah. Right. So, so I mean, it. Now, I know you, well, you didn't get any pink cards this time, but I know you've played them before and you were kind of meh. Yeah. Uh, well, I stay away from pink cards. I well, just, yeah. I like them because I think they're lazy. <laughs> <laughs> and so, because the pink I cards... I don't like them because I'm too lazy to utilize them. So no, but was, the pink cards, yeah. they're uh, between turns. So it's like you do something and then I benefit from it. And no, I think I that's great. I pay attention to your turn. No. I just well, focus on what do I'm doing so when it comes to my turn... To my turn I just play my stuff and I'm done. Yeah, but most of the time you're when I tell you I have something like that, you announce it. You're like, I'm gaining food. Well, because I'm looking out for you. I want to play a fair game. You wasted all the resources to get that bird out there. <laughs> you might as well gain a benefit hey, from it. Hey, it was useful. That's how I got a lot of food. Okay. I mean, you know. Could there was a better? change. Well, I mean, you got some food from me with the uh, all players gain one of that food from Oh, spot. yes. That so was very the, nice. But this is a nice change because usually it's like all players gain a cherry. Mm -hmm. You know, this one is choose a food choose type. Choose something, yeah. And then, I mean, I'm I still like, at the like mercy that, yeah. of whatever you want. And then you had a really cool one where you could trade one in. So if mm -hmm. I had that card, it would have been super useful for me because you're feeding me whatever junk you want and then I get to regurgitate it and get something yeah, different. The, yeah. Being able to trade foods. I like that. I like that one because, you know, sometimes sometimes you are the recipient of somebody's good fortune, but it doesn't work out for you. Right. Because uh, so then you just end up with yeah. random stuff and you're like, okay, I guess I'll just trade these two things for that one thing. So, now, I mean, it's still useful. It's just not as The as stork. Useful. The stork, I don't know if there's other cards like this, but with the stork, you know, you can discard all the remaining face-up cards. Mm -hmm. So you can reset the bird feeder without having to rely on people to draw draw them or draw them yourself. Oh, not yeah. the bird feeder. You mean the... Or the, the bird tray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... Um, so I think that's nice, being able to just clear that out. Right, so instead of just tower. having to draw random cards because you don't like anything that's there. Yeah. Because I did that a number of times. Plus you get to draw one of them too. So it's like mm -hmm. it's like free. being able to draw three and then choose, choose the one. best one. You know, so. And then dump the rest for me. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it was overall. I like the new, the new uh, draw a new bonus card because, you, you know, in the original one, it's draw two bonus cards and and pick one, Keep one yeah. uh, but now you've got you've got a different one in here that's you know draw a bonus card plus you gain food from the bird feeder you get to lay an egg and then this one is also or or draw a new card i mean mm -hmm. you have to pick one of the extra benefits but but you have yeah. options yeah because sometimes when you're when you're getting a, a bonus card you um you know you draw two and they both stink mm -hmm. based on how you're playing you mm -hmm. know, it's like yeah well, i can't do either one out so mm -hmm. Like whatever. At yeah. least you get some benefit. Something else uh, in addition in your, to a card you can't use. Yeah, in your control. So. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, I didn't have to really change change up strategies. I, I still do the whole try to get three turns, you know, to to get the the large point bird. Mm -hmm. So I mean, like you know, sixty seven points and just birds. You know, that's like we said in our last video. That used to be my average score. So. <laughs> just, yeah. So. yeah. I mean, I don't know that it changes the game a lot. I mean, certainly there are more things that you can do, more things you have to sort of juggle and say, well, you know, cost benefit. But yeah, I don't, I don't feel that it's a different game, and no. I like that. No, I, like I that do because, too. Because I like, 
Well, wingspan. I love wingspan. Yeah, I liked wingspan the yeah. way it was. So I like expansions that just add um, more. Yeah, add to it, but don't change the game fundamentally because there, there's a number of games right. out there like that. I'm yes. pretty sure this is our most played game last year. Yep, it was. Yeah. It was. So, I mean, we was... played the heck out of this, and I'm still happy playing the base game. Mm -hmm. I mean, this just adds more flavor. You know, there's just different cards and different things that you can do. So, I mean, you have a couple more options. And, I mean, some of the, the birds, I think, are really cool because I know we talked about that. We like that aspect. We like the actual birds. There mm -hmm. was, there's some really cute birds and some really fun names, and it just it just keeps it interesting. Yeah, we actually we use this game as an introductory, not to to board gaming because it's a little bit much for an intro to board gaming game uh, or a gateway game, I guess we call them. Yeah. Um, but we use it to introduce um, seasoned board gamers into our group. You know, it's because mm -hmm. this is, you know, we like engine builders and we like these types of games. Um, so if they, if they come over, if they're, you know, new friends of ours are just new to uh, board gaming with us and they say, oh yeah, I've played this before. I've played this before. I've played this before. Have you played Wingspan? And if they say no, it's like, well, here, here we go. Here comes Wingspan. So. Yeah. And I don't think we've had anyone not like it. Yeah. I mean, we've had some lukewarm receptions, but. I think that I feel like. That just comes from losing. <laughs> well, I think part of that is too. I mean, we've played multiple times, and obviously you know a lot of the cards. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm familiar with a lot of the cards also, and so I'm like, oh, I really want that. And I think that's when you're new to the game playing with people that have played a lot, then it's hard. Like, it takes you a long time. You have to well, read the cards and be like, okay, well, why would I want that over this? And, you know, so I think that's part of it. it whereas I'm like, oh, I want that crow. I want that raven. Like, I know that there are certain cards when they come up that I want them. Right. But if there's certain powerhouse cards like that American crow or any of the crows or ravens, and there's a new player at the right, table, do if, if it's available play. to them, I'm like, you know, it would... We would be cheating if we didn't point out that that's one of the most powerful cards in the game, and you're in a position to get it. Mm -hmm. So I'm not saying you should get it, but, but you, you should, should get, get it. it. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, we definitely have done that. Been like, that's a really good card. Yeah. Are you sure you want that card? Because that one's good. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Still love playing Wingspan, and definitely glad we've added the expansion. Into mm -hmm. it. So. Mm -hmm. it's, it's not a matter of, do you want to play with the expansion today? Or it's not, just, yeah. It's, it's just, it's just it part of the game now. So. But I'm, I'm going to go look into it, into the numbers. Uh, it may actually say on the Snowmire website oh, or not. Yeah. But I want to look at the percentages and that see That was something they... we talked about, like the bonus cards. You know, have that per the percentage of whatever cards mm -hmm. um, to see if those still hold true. Because I do right. admit that that is something that I use when I'm trying to pick bonus cards. I'm like, well, what can I actually achieve? And so I do look at the percentage sometimes. Unless I have cards that already help me fulfill one over the other. But that would be interesting to know if that those still hold true. If the old bonuses still hold true with the new cards. Yeah. I mean, it theoretically would be fairly easy to do. You just have to... There may be a post on their site, a blog post or something in the forums, where they may have stated that these percentages are already the same. Mm -hmm. But I want to know is if the... Uh, cross habit what I call the cross habitat birds if the percentage if that percentage is the same mm -hmm. or if it's gone up because I feel like a lot of the new cards a lot Kinda of the ones, that, yeah they're they're cross habitat yeah. ones so it almost it's almost as if you're people are gonna get that by happenstance anyway mm -hmm. um <laughs> which kind of levels the playing field on, on that right, strategy. Right, right. You know, so it kind of like, kind of breaks your game breaker. Yeah, because I'm like focusing on that and you're just getting it by accident. So I mean it's makes it sound like I don't have strategy. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so the so the wing expansion as I'm sure you see the box is very pretty. It's purple, so they introduce a lot of purple. You get purple tokens, you get purple eggs, you get a new purple card box, you get a new purple um, scorecard. So there's a lot of purple, lot and of purple. I like purple, and it's yeah. a nice complement to the colors that are already there. So it's not I mean it's not overwhelming, which is nice. I'm not a fan of purple. But I like purple. It's all right. We've we've decided to use the purple card box. Or I've decided anyway. Actually, it's just I don't like the overuse of purple in space games, but this isn't a space game, so I'm fine with it. Mm. Okay. All right. Like and subscribe. Subscribe, definitely. Like subscribe. us. You can like it too.